I remember when I was very young going with my mother to my grandmother's garden. It was uh, close by and we'd go pick corn and tomatoes and lima beans and asparagus and take them back home and, and cook them. And you know, that was part of the culture growing up. And we both were in the kitchen with our parents cooking and that was a big part of our, of our family culture. Chef was my background in the food business for 25 years and had been recently watching the salt trends. The farm to table movement with chefs and consumers really wanting to know where their food is made and who it's made by. Um, it just all kind of came together in my head and I thought we really have a great opportunity here to do something unique that um, there's a, a niche market for. So I called Lewis and I said, hey, got this idea, do you want to pursue it with me? And um, he didn't hesitate too long. He said, okay, let's do it. So here we are. We are on the Dickinson farm in Malden, West Virginia. And that's important to us because it's our family's been here for 200 years. They made salt here starting in the early 1800s, and of course we revived the industry. When we were doing our research, we came across in the old family's offices uh, some old well logs and some maps about where their wells were. And that told us about the strata, the geology. So we knew about where we would probably find it if it was still there. So there was some risk involved, but fortunately we had the family documents. And fortunately when we drilled, we hit it about right where we wanted to. So. The salt making process is simple, but um, it's complex. It's simple in that we're letting Mother Nature do a lot of the work, but it's complex in that it takes a lot of passion and energy because we don't use any automation. We're not using machines. Everything is done by hand. We pour the brine into handcrafted beds and let the sun heat the greenhouses. It gets up to 150 degrees and the water evaporates and what's left is a beautiful white crystal salt. The whole process to me is amazing. You know, I would, while I feel it's the right time in my life, what I'm doing now, being able to work with my brother and work with my family history. I feel like all of my stars are aligned in the right direction. And just coming to this place every day and you feel the, the sense of history here, the heritage that we are carrying on. It's inspiring. It, you know, it, it just gives me chills to think about what we're doing. I feel so lucky. We knew we could get salt if we, if we got the well in and we got brine, we knew we'd be able to make salt. But when we made the salt and got the crystal just right and the flavor followed was unbelievable. We were like, wow, we knew we could make good salt, but we didn't know we were gonna get great salt. And we were really excited about our product.